What's up guys, and today we are going to talk about what tools you need to wrap a car, or really wrap anything. All right, so we're gonna jump right into this and we're gonna start with the basic of basics. You obviously need a squeegee. You could start with something basic like this. This is just a squeegee that I got off Amazon years ago. I don't really use it anymore because I have these. <laughs> these are my custom squeegees that obviously if you guys follow along with me, you guys know I own TL Wrap Tools and I manufacture and sell different wrap tools. Um, so these are my H2 Edge wet dry application squeegees. We've got three different ones here. Um, but let's just stick with just talking about one. We're just talking about the basic squeegee. Um, this guy right here, this is our gray nylon squeegee. It is a all around very good squeegee because it's got the wet dry application buffer. Plus it's got really good flex. So this is just a good all around squeegee to use for any application. These are also good. They just don't have that much flex. They're a lot harder. Uh, moving right along, we're gonna talk, you need a good knife. If you don't have a good knife, I mean, you can't, you can't do proper trims, you can't cut stuff properly, and yes, you need a trim when you're doing wraps. Uh, make sure you test knife pressure a lot before you go start cutting on a customer's um, vehicle, because if you don't know your knife pressure, you're probably gonna cut into the paint. So learn your knife pressure, practice a lot. Another really good tool that I think is necessary, some people may not agree, but I definitely think is necessary, is a good wrap glove. This one is Paint is Dead's red camouflage one. This has been my favorite one so far that I've used. Another thing I think it's a really great tool to have is we call these snitties. It's really just a fancy vinyl cutter. You can go with a cheaper one like this, um, but I would suggest going a little fancier. It's worth it. You can change the blades on this one. You don't have to just toss the whole tool away. You can just get different blades. This uses just your uh, standard two-sided razor blade. So you can get those pretty much anywhere. Now moving right along, we're gonna talk about uh, micro squeegees. Micro squeegees or wrap sticks, some people call them. There's so many different ones. These are all kinds of different tucking tools. The basic ones are these guys here. These guys pretty much are a all-inclusive. Um, you can get these ones often come in three different hardnesses. This is a nice soft one. Uh, this is Avery Denison's. It's a little bit of a stiffer one. These are great for tucking in between like trims on doors, windows, windshields, um, doing chrome bleeds. So moving right along after we're done talking about different, I'm not going to talk in de detail about all these. You guys can just check them out for yourselves. I'll leave some links down below and also just wait till the end of this video. I'm going to give you guys a little something special. Uh, next thing we're going to talk about is knifeless tape. Knifeless tape is pretty much your hero as a wrapper. Um, you can put this stuff on the vehicle where you don't want to cut or you can't get to properly cut or you just need those nice clean lines. Um, it's just, it saves. You use it for inlays and overlays, all that kind of stuff. Um, so definitely get yourself some knifeless tape if you're gonna start doing some wraps. I use 3M's finish line and design line for the most part, just those two. So the next thing we're gonna talk about is good blades. You need a good nine mil is what I use in my standard knives that I use. Um, but use 30 degree blades. The angle is a lot better for doing wraps. It's good to get entire spots and it's a lot sharper I find. So sharper point too. Air release pens. Air release pens it's not a necessity because you're not using it a ton, but if you get that bubble that you just can't get it out, it's really nice to have a little air release pen. Or if you're working with some film that's not, doesn't have really good air grass or air release technology in it, and you can't get a bubble out, air release pen, just go in there, poke a little bit, squeegee, and get that air right out. So, and one of the most important things, not really a tool, but Something you need is isopropyl alcohol. Alcohol, you need, um, so alcohol to clean, prep the surface. I also suggest if you're working on a vehicle that's not brand new, even if it is new, and you're doing a full wrap or really anything, clay bar it. Take a clay bar and some um, solution, maybe like a soap and water solution or a detail spray, and wet it down and clay bar the whole vehicle or the whole surface you're wrapping at least. 
that will just take up lots of debris, contaminants that are stuck to the paint that you won't get off with just an alcohol solution. So alcohol usually run anywhere from 90 to 75%. That's what I run. Um, often I do, do not actually spray it directly on the paint, spray it on the microfiber and then wipe it off. Wipe it on. All right, so obviously that's not everything you guys need to wrap or it's more than you need depending on the project you're doing and if you are a beginner or if you are trying to get into this as a career or if you're just doing it as a DIY. So DIY, you can get away with pretty much some basic squeegee, a knife, some blades, um, a heat gun, and your cleaning supplies. Uh, but if you're gonna get into it as a career, you need to learn a lot more of the tools equipment that is needed. So I'll maybe do some more in-depth videos if you guys want me to do that. Let me know down in the comments. Also, thanks for watching to the end, you guys. If you guys have made it this far in the video, you guys get a 15% off my website. Just use code TLWRAPS at checkout. So there you guys go. That's the little piece I was going to give you at the end of the video. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.